the uh the more trained eyes watching this can can tell that it's uh an emulator yeah because this is the only way to play this game this is a uh, shadow tower abyss on ps2 and we're gonna the, sync up somehow even though this is a cutscene with the english translation patch and we're gonna sync up eventually yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so this never came out in america land but this uh came out in the land of the rice fields and the rising sun yeah uh it's it's more it's a more rice oriented game i right, suppose yeah it is it's it's, it's teriyaki yeah um so i was uh i was gonna try to really dig my teeth into this one because uh you beat uh you actually beat king's field 4 uh, recently and yeah. i was inspired by that I feel like <laughs> i better do one too inspiration you yeah. were an inspiration for having put up with this <laughs> yeah but this is like <laughs> i like I like this game is a much better uh first impression like it's just uh it's got a unique little style going on and it's a neat twist on the um king's field sort of format uh it's still got the same weird controls though and um it's still like like punishingly hard, but it's neat. It's kind of got like a uh, mid two thousand style going on too. I like the art. This is a cool intro screen. Yeah, it's like ancient looking. Yeah, it looks so old. Like it looks like it looks like uh, you had to uh, archaeologists had to like swipe all the dust off this menu yeah. before you could use it. Uh, wants me to... Nope. I'm not doing that. So, like, there's this spear that's, um... It's kind of like a dragon ball. Like, a, it, when you find it, uh, you pick, become powerful, and you rule the world. And then the spear just sort of disappears and ends up, uh, like, in another dimension. Okay. And people, uh, so people delve into the abyss to find it. And for some reason, they d they go in without any armor or weapons. Okay. And they just, uh, they just need to scavenge. And maybe that's not a great idea, but that's how it's being done. An old woodland guide. So uh, I guess it's just like a little a little booklet that describes how to find the uh, legendary spear. Oh my god! I figured that was going to open. Yeah. Somehow I had a thing a idea in my mind that that would open as, a, uh, as an eye. Is the moonlight sword in this game? I don't know. Okay, it should be. But like maybe the moonlight gun is in this game because you have a gun. In uh, <laughs> maybe it's like King's Field Four. Oh, my flare ran out. Where um. In King's Field 4, uh, some other sword that you find, you find a sword that's just a regular sword, and then you do a bunch of extra shit, and it turns into the Moonlight Sword. Oh. So maybe in this game, you do something, and then a bunch of other shit happens, and then it converts into the Moonlight Sword. Mm -hmm. So is there swords in this? There, yeah, there's, it's kind of weird, actually. The, um, I mean, the fact that you gotta have, they ha you have real guns, um, Kind of implies that uh, it's it takes place in the modern day. Yeah. But this tower um, has been around for so long that you find like weapons from all different kinds of uh, eras, mm -hmm. and you find guns from different eras too. So like you have a uh, like a flintlock pistol and a revolver and uh, like a um, and like a like a modern police pistol and stuff like that. And you have like these these old swords, and like the the old swords are always found on um on like skeletons wearing armor, and you find the new weapons on uh, fresh corpses. I think that's a nice touch. Oh. 
this run going to be knife only? Yeah, yeah. One thing, though, is, like, um, durability is a huge problem in this game. It's like, uh, it's almost Breath of the Wild bad. But you find a lot of stuff. Do you need to wait to get stamina back before you attack? Uh, uh in the top right corner, there's the circle, uh, like the circles. Yeah. That, uh, regenerate after I strike. So you can attack three times. And then you need to wait for them to uh, replenish. Oh. So there's no stamina meter. Okay, so each one of those attacks does the same damage, though, right? Yeah, in yeah King's, pretty much. In King's Field, you have to wait. For, you uh, If you attack with full stamina, your weapon does the full damage it would otherwise do. But if you attack with half stamina, it does half. If you yeah. attack with no stamina, it does nothing. Yeah, in, in this one, like... You can't attack at all when you're out of stamina, okay. but you can strike three times. Dead. It's obvious where Souls got that idea from. These games were using stamina in a really clever way. Yeah. To make it so you couldn't just attack forever. Yeah, they they they'd figure out figured out the stamina thing by then. Because really, like when you think about it, it makes more sense. Because when you're str when you're swinging a weapon, um, and you run out of stamina. You kind of have to sit back and recover it. Yeah. You, you don't just do more damage with the yeah. each swing. It makes it feel like it uh, has weight to it because you just sit there and you have to like slash once and then you would have to uh, recompose yourself and then like prepare for the next strike, right? Or, it would, you know, if you slash at somebody once, you'd be getting tired too, right? I guess it makes perfect sense. Why do these yeah. guys have like nipple butts? What is this? Butt nipples. See them? <laughs> Yeah, they these are some weird enemies. Like it's it's got a it's got a totally different like sort of contemporary style with alien sort of like these cartoonish alien creatures. Speaking it's of that, uh, Kingsfield Four later on does have enemies that look kind of like a xenomorph. I don't know why, but they're just kind of there. You see those? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they seem like a weird. Nothing else really looks like that in that game, except these one enemies that look kind of like Xenomorphs. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. They're, they're just money laying around, too. Oh, is there shops? Yeah. Um. Oh, my God. Who's running them? It does this thing that... Well, I'll get at it later, but it it does this thing um, that a lot of games in this time do, where um, the interactable... Like, the save point and the shop and stuff like that they're like a interactable little pillar. Okay. Like color-coded floating orb things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like RPGs do that a lot. So you know, like they just scatter those throughout the dungeon. So is there anybody alive in the Shadow Tower? Yeah, uh, the is occasional this called, person. Is this called the Shadow Tower by the way? It I, might not be. I think so. They just call it the tower. Okay. Um are they humans? Are people alive inside Shadow Tower? Um. Yeah, occasionally. Yeah. I mean, most people are dead. Is there like a town outside it? No. Nah, well, I haven't gotten there like yet. That. If there is, it's very good. I'm starting to. I like that trope a lot when there's a a dungeon crawler and there's one town outside. Yeah. But yeah. I, like the I little like, yeah. the little adventure uh, commune. I like when uh, FromSoft does it because uh, the town is a uh, has a. Uh, Dark, dark red sky, and everyone wants to kill themselves. Uh huh. Like Kingsfield yeah, Four. Yeah, everyone has to want to kill the themselves. The first, uh, a... the first NPC you meet in Kingsfield Four is the Crestfallen Warrior. Yeah. He's even sitting in the same way as the Crestfallen Warrior, and he basically just says, "I should just kill myself." This is horrible. It's it's not a from soft. Everything game. has gone wrong. Yeah, it's not. Oh shit! They yeah. respond. Uh, <laughs> it's not a from soft game. If if like there are. If there's a shortage of miserable people, yes. We've that... already met a miserable guy here, just yeah. dying there, just everything's gone. Whoops. Um, Everything is pointless. Give up now. Oh, I might have to restart. Why? Because I, I don't have any healing items. Ah. Um, but yeah, the most important thing that I've been neglecting to mention is the dismemberment. Oh. So as you can see, like, I, I wounded these people terribly, 
And uh, yeah, how are they're they're running away now? Oh man! And like sometimes you can, I guess the equivalent of a hit critical hit is when you hit somebody in the head and you knock their head off. And uh, I mean, some of them don't die when you knock their head off, but most of them do. How are you moving the analog stick, by the way, to attack? Can you explain uh, that. Yeah, it's um, like it's directional swinging. Like you you press right to swing right, and this will hit. This will hit things, like, uh, at your right, which is always, like, kind of frustrating thing in King's Field where uh, you couldn't do that. And, um, top down, it, this is the safest attack, uh, where, like, it won't, it won't clash against walls. And you got your, uh, stab, too, which I guess would be longer range. And, you, uh, is that, it. is that R3? No, it's just forward. Oh, okay. Top, so, like, up, down, left, right. Okay. And when you have your gun, uh, R3 to equip it, and then R3 to shoot it. How are you changing the camera? How the camera control is working right now? Uh, just um, tank controls with the right stick. Uh, same as King's Field. Like, tank controls with the right stick, and uh, like L2 to look up, and R2 to look down. <laughs> and L and R to straight. How do you do magic? What's the magic button? Magic is square, and... Uh, Let's see. I think I said um, the. Oh yeah, I didn't explain this. The the um y the ring you have equipped is your magic, mm, okay. and whatever whatever's tied to your ring, that's what will come out when you press square. So that's a little different too. And you got like a bracelet thing and a and a amulet. Wow, these menus look so cool. I know, the menus are... They look like they're tied into the lore. Yeah. Right? Nowadays, we got these minimalist menus that could be from any game. They're totally interchangeable. Yeah. I heard somebody saying that they had a theory that the reason why we do minimalist menus now is because they upscale easily. And uh, oh. nowadays, there's so many different devices to play games on Yeah. that they yeah, have that to make sense. a minimalist HUD so that it will look good at any resolution. Mm-hmm. Or aspect ratio or uh, screen size. Yeah. So these games, they knew the exact hardware and monitor Oops, you were shit. probably going to be playing on. So they knew how to make a menu that looked good at 640 by 480 on a CRT monitor. Right. Mm -hmm. And they said that minimalist HUD design is actually so that you could play it on any display and it would look the same. I don't know. I mean, that's what somebody, once somebody told me before. I don't know if that's really why they do it. But um, I always thought it was just to make it age better. Yeah. But I don't know now because there's some sometimes you can over design a menu and have it age bad. This age is good. This is cool. Yeah. Um. But on the other hand, if um, if they re-release this, which which they definitely definitely should, um, uh, the menus would probably be a a problem. Yeah, it would probably just be complete minimalist. Yeah. Well, I mean they they. They'd keep the menus, but it'd probably be blurry as hell compared to, like, the upscaled, uh, you know, graphics. Yeah. That's so always a problem. If they were going to re, if they were going to keep these menu and HUD designs, they'd have to redraw them, basically. Yeah. They'd have to create the new assets, basically. Oh, Unless you had something weird. good to upscale them, which I think exists now, to take those textures and upscale them. But then again, they probably don't have the textures. So right? These guys are a problem. Like, these source to... files... Source files for this game were probably all deleted. Do not kill, capture. What does that mean? I think they're talking to each other. Because, like, I, I've killed these guys, and and it doesn't do anything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's bad. Okay, well. There goes that run, but... I just gotta not get hit as much. Oh, wait. That's wrong. Return to title. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Select the play environment. <laughs> Do you ever notice the FromSoft speak? Like the way they word their uh, their menus and stuff. Yeah. Like it's so technical. Yeah. Uh, Kingsfield Three uh, has two different loadings: program loading and data loading. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? I know. Like it I starts know. program loading. And then uh -huh. stops, and then data loading. Okay. Yeah. It's weird, because their games are so atmospheric and lore-heavy, but they're... 
Like their their designs are so technical and 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 stiff and unforgiving and. Yeah, a lot of these things um, was I don't I don't think Miyazaki. Oh, was in, that can kill you. Yeah, was involved at this time, was he? <laughs> uh no, no, it's they brought him on. For I Demon was Souls. yeah, I was reading about this, and uh, I was reading about the history of Demon Souls, and he was working on Armored Core, wasn't he? Something like that, like some other project. I don't know. He wasn't but involved. He wasn't with, like yeah, he wasn't involved with this, but yet this he is wasn't so directing games until yeah. Demon Souls. Yeah, so many of the game, so many of the things that Miyazaki is credited with mm-hmm. were actually just developed by people in FromSoft before he showed up. Like this stuff is all Demon Souls stuff. Yeah, a lot of it, like uh, at least fifty percent of what you accredit to Miyazaki. I'll say fifty percent, um, just to be safe is actually just the collective work of people from FromSoft. Mm-hmm. Or whoever was directing this game, Kingsfield 4, and the K- original Shadow Tower, and the Kingsfields before this. They're yeah. so soulsy. That, uh... You can see... Um, I mean, like, a lot of the... Uh, you know, a lot of the co- cohesiveness of Demon Souls comes from Miyazaki, but uh, you can tell that they were figuring it out back then. Yeah, look, we still got the same... Uh, weapons have slash, pierce, like the different. Yeah, that's them from Souls. Like, yeah, and um, I yeah. think I think even Demon Soul or uh, Kingsfield One had that. Yeah, you have to figure out what enemies are weak to. Like, they're are they weak to pierce or slash uh-huh. and all that stuff. And uh, this game even has uh, like counter hit states. Um. If you if you attack somebody while they're attacking, then it does more damage, and it makes like a little noise. Why is shit so weird in the Shadow Tower? Like, what is this? Because it's like a... It's a convergence of a bunch of different dimensions. Uh, and there are characters from different, like, timelines and universes uh, that you meet. Okay. Like, you, you start meeting, uh, like, anime people eventually. What? Like, there's there's this red guy with a spear. And he, uh... And he's like, hey, you're not from my clan. Uh, help me beat this boss. Be- beat this insect uh, from the insect planet or something. <laughs> so, Shadow Tower, um, so, was the Shadow Tower always here? I think it's like... Or did it show up? I think the spear is always here. Like, I, I don't know much about the plot yet, obviously, but, uh, um, I think the spear was always here and it sort of manipulates, uh, or whoever's behind this manipulates reality to uh, hide the spear from people. Something like that. I'm not sure. I, I'm speaking out of my ass, honestly. But... So, yeah. For some reason, my brain is imagining that at the end of the game, you find out that the tower is the spear. <laughs> I don't and know. that the original guy who it's made the spear is like huge. That. Uh-huh. Like, I, that would not surprise me for this kind of thing. He shot his head off and killed him instantly. Is there like a hub area inside the tower? That all uh, area is kind of like... There's kind of a hub. Yeah. Um, I'll be able to get to the hub. Uh, it's like... It's probably the most alien place in the game. It's just like a... Well, we'll probably see it. Like, uh... Kingsfield 4 has, uh... When you go into the... when you, It doesn't tell you when you get to the ancient city. You have to figure out that you're in there. Oh, on yeah. your own, just by observing the environment and stuff. But uh, yeah. uh, Kingsfield 4 in the ancient city has the central tower <laughs> that is inside the core of the ancient city. That Basically, all the drawbridges into the tower are broken or there's something wrong with them. And you slowly fix the drawbridges to, get, like, to make it so you can go back there all the time. And... Um, you unlock levels of the central tower, and all the levels have the the uh, the shopkeeper guy moves to every level with you on the tower. Oh yeah! So that you can always kind of keep because the game straddles the limits of how much your brain can handle map wise. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's like it's, it was getting oh, it was getting confusing. Oh damn it! That was the game was getting confusing, but I just managed to barely find my limit and play within it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, in Kingsfield Four, just barely managed to figure out. Mm-hmm. There was a few times where I was just sitting there, and I needed an item, and the shop was so far away. And I just I was like, oh my god, I just had to like walk for like ten minutes 
across this complicated maze-like world to get back to David Bunch, the guy in the first town to sell stuff. David Bunch. Yeah, it's another FromSoft thing. Oh, yeah. Having a character with some funny name like that. Uh-huh. The shopkeeper in Kingsfield 4 is named David Bunch. Yeah. They're good at uh, coming up with Western names. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there should be a shopkeeper in this game. I'll just not talk to that guy. <laughs> Bye. Uh, should be a shopkeeper in this game called, like, uh, like Mr. Victor or something. Like, that's what they would do, like... <laughs> Uh, and his first name is uh, his his first name was Ham or something. Ham Victor. Yeah, that sounds exactly something FromSoft would do. Huh? Wait, shit. And it's Ham with two Come M's. On. I gotta stop pressing. It's H- it's oh shit. H A M M. So no, is I'm there? Trying... A... Oh god. Is there something wrong with the world? Outside the tower? Or is it just normal world out there? I, I have no idea. Oh. Like, are we saving the world right now? <laughs> we're, we, we, uh, we're fighting for um, control over the world, pretty oh. much. I like the plot of Kingsfield 4. It's like, uh, it starts off interesting. It's got this an interesting awesome. description okay. on the back of the box. It talks about, like, um... Your whole job in Kingsfield 4, and that's what you do at the end of the game, too. The whole plot is just this. Uh, uh, some king, uh, to get more power, he uh, went to this bottom-of-the-world ancient place and got um, a, uh, a like an icon of sorrow or something. Like It's a little... It's like a little stone statue like fits in your pocket. Oh, yeah. And this gives you like amazing power. And, um, but, uh, it gives you power, but if you're holding it, uh, it gives you, like, extremely bad luck and, like, sadness and misfortune befalls you. Okay. And, uh, uh, somebody took it and all that misfortune, like, went into the world and the world was just a gray crap sack because that, that little statue wasn't on its pedestal. Oh. And the main character, it's not even described who you are. You just some guy who happened to have it. He found it, and you you just show up, and he removes it from his cloak in the opening cutscene, and shows that he has the icon of Sora or whatever it's called. Oh yeah. And your mission is just to go all the way back down to the bottom of the world and put it on its pedestal. That's okay. the plot. <laughs> and oh, yeah. you do at the end, and it doesn't tell you to do it either. You get down to this place really, really far at the bottom, and you don't know what to do. There's a little thing, and I didn't know what to do for a while. It's like I had. I didn't have any items to put on this thing. I need. I knew I needed to go further, and then I put the icon on it, and it just blew my mind, because that meant I knew I was at the end of the game. Uh huh. Like, and you have it from the start, right from the right from when the game starts. It's in your inventory, and you put it on the thing at the end of the game. <laughs> and then you either get a good ending or a bad ending. You put it on the thing, and then you go down to hell or whatever. And okay, you, I gotta not die. Uh, you kill the thing down there. I think if you kill it with the Moonlight Sword, you get the good ending, and if you don't, you get the bad ending. I can't remember. Oh. Because I only killed him with the Moonlight Sword, so I don't, they, but people said there was good endings got and it. bad endings, and then I looked it up, and the the ending I got was the good ending. Oh. But I think I showed you the credits. Remember, I showed you the credits in like a second long. Oh, yeah, yeah, The yeah. credits just show up, and they're gone. Uh-huh. And it just dumps you back to the start screen. Wait. It's this pathetic thing. I got Ujot. What does that do? See, this says, um, what was it, Eye of Horus on it or whatever? Press triangle. Wait. Whoops. Um, improves magic plus resist magic. Is this kind of like going to have a plot that's kind of like La Moana? We even got the hat. It's got... We got La hat. I know, you get, you get, you get the, uh, little... <laughs> Like there are people, there are people who entered this tower wearing explorer uh, uniforms. <laughs> they probably there was probably some misunderstanding of what what this place would be like on that on some level. Um, yeah. So is it kind of like a La Mulana idea where like all mythology is real? You know that type of <laughs> Maybe. that type of idea. Maybe like, it's something like that. Yeah. All myths are real. They're just in another dimension, and they all show up here. Uh huh. Could be kind of like in, in La Mulana, every religion is real. 
Yeah. <laughs> and they're all just there. Yeah, they love that. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, like the, I love the little world in La Milan. It's just yeah. the best. SMT like kind of does that, too. You'll just enter a room and, and friggin', like, this, uh, this, like, high-level uh, Egyptian god will be there, and they'll be like, yeah, I kind of gave up on the god thing a, a few years ago. <laughs> here's here's this pendant that yeah. that does something. Dead. So, yeah, this is where you go. But, um... Kind of the, the way this works is you, you have to backpedal a little bit and go explore and look for stuff. Because, like I said, uh, durability is a big issue. And if you don't, like, find new equipment, uh, you're just going to end up, you know, spending too much to reco to uh, restore it, yeah. to repair it. Uh, but uh, I guess I can just kind of skip ahead. King's Field 4 has durability too, but items never break though. How it works? I, I don't think. Well, items do break, but you can still uh, you can still uh, restore them. Yeah, in King's Field 4, uh, items have durability, but they you can repair them, but they never break outright. You can still use them; they're just weak, right? Oh yeah. Oh my god. I think that's a good way to do it. It's one of these guys. It's one of these like. So many games have these guys. A little boat keeper guy. <laughs> yeah. You talk to when he moves the boat. Uh, La Milana too has To those. guide you vile things, I am commanded. They can't stand humans, because they keep, keep, like... Like, they keep, uh... Showing up, and they're all naive, and they keep getting killed. Except for you. Probably gets on their nerves. You're the guy who wins somehow. You hit him? <laughs> Damn it! Uh, it I tried that before and it didn't work. Oh my god. What the hell? Dude, that's cool. You can freaking hit him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> can, oh, you can do the NPC killing in this, can you? That, that's, you know what that is? That's dangerously based. I know. I remember my mind melting when you could kill the NPCs in Demon Souls. Yeah. <laughs> you can and... kill the vendors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, that was scary. I like, know. I'm at, like needing to turn away from every single NPC so you don't actually press uh, R2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 